In the alien suit, I just had two little slots in the, uh, I'm, inside, I'm inside the neck of the creature. I'm looking at it through, through tiny slots, and I had a, a small slot to breathe through. And my sound is cut off because I'm encased in foam rubber and fiberglass and plastic. And uh, added to that being underwater, it was even more isolating. And, and the only way I could get through it was just completely trust the underwater divers. Uh, Rod and his crew of, of divers had all the necessary breathing apparatus because we were in 12 feet of water and in most cases the, uh, the set had a ceiling on it so if we needed air we couldn't just simply swim to the surface and on top of that in the suit the way it takes on water and the way the, the whole head fills with the water I couldn't have, have uh, done any swimming anywhere anyway. For my part, my contribution to the uh, um, to the underwater sequence is that um, I stayed as far away from the water tank as I could, so that I could be nice and dry and watch on TV and cross my fingers that 50% uh, of the company didn't drown before my eyes. Uh, so it was really all Tom. I mean, it was uh, he, communication was very difficult under the water, uh, and um, I sure as heck wasn't about to get in there to help him.